guys welcome back to my channel my name is Toby and I film videos about life in Canada so if you want to see more of that don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to give me a thumbs up hit the like button leave comment share this video and all of that So today is Saturday, it's the weekend. So first of all, I actually need to go grocery shopping. I think I want to make effort. Actually, nothing. I'm going to make effort for next week because I need to get um, things for my FRO. I don't think I want to go anywhere far away. I also need to um, go to Canada Post. So I um, applied for my US visa. I am actually not going to do an interview. I'm actually just happy that I'm applying for my own before it expires. So I filled out the form online and everything like that. I just need to print out my documents. There are not a lot of things I actually need to show because my visa hasn't expired yet. So I just need to post all of that to them through Canada Post and they will post it back to me when I get my visa and all of that. Oh yeah, one thing to know is that if, if you're a permanent resident in Canada, your visa would be for 10 years. Um, let me not say everybody, like every PR, because I'm sure some people will say, oh, they did not, they not give them 10 years or something like that, but you would most likely get a 10 year American visa if you're a permanent resident but yeah i think that's basically what i have to do i also have to think about what to do for my mom's birthday because her birthday is coming up and actually it's in two days and i've just been really busy so i have not had time to like plan anything last year i did a surprise i reached out to a surprise page on instagram and did a surprise all these saxophone happy birthday playing like nigerian songs nigerian gospel songs things like that i know that vibe now <laughs> the year before i did cake and another surprise things like that but this year i feel like it's too late to put a surprise like two days share it with nigerians <laughs> you kind of have to like book your surprise in advance not advance but it's just like oh, you don't want someone to disappoint you but it's even on my path like it's actually two days but I don't even think I want to do all this saxophone type of surprise so I've just not had any like nothing has come to my mind so I think I'll just do like money surprise like oh happy birthday type of thing that's what I plan on doing but I'll still think about it and check Instagram and all of that today then I might go out with my friends so Ontario has opened up a bit so you're allowed to dine outside so I might go downtown to run with my friend so I need to print my documents now to get ready to go to Canada Post. I went to Shoppers to take my passport photo one time. This is it. <laughs> and my passports, my green passports. Eh? Don't worry, I'll get blue passports soon. <laughs> hey, my green passport, my great country. My great country. I hope this thing prints. I really hope it does. This thing should print. Okay, 16% complete. A, 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 80%. It's not printing. Like, I don't get it. That was frustrating. My printer was acting up, but I have my documents ready. So I have my passport photo, I have my Nigerian passport, I have my permits, um, I have I have my proof of status in Canada, the photocopy, I have my um, instruction stuff that they said I should attach. I have the confirmation, my data page and all of that. I have everything ready so I'm just going to gather this and carry it along with me. So I'm going to put it in an envelope when I get there and post it. 
I'm going to go to Shoppers Drug Mart first. I need to. I need to post this thing. Then after going to Shoppers Drug Mart, I think I'll go to Walmart. Then the African store. Yeah. I can't even play songs because of copyrights. So yeah, I'm at Shoppers now to post my documents for my American visa application. I just need to read through this. And I read through it yesterday, but I just feel like the post office clerk will probably not know what to do. Most times they don't know what to do. Actually, not most times, but sometimes. If it's not something that is standard, they won't know what to do. Because they probably don't even apply for US visa. They're probably Canadians. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. This blah 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 gather all the required this applications for the yep. number four says after you put everything inside it says present the first page of this document along with the envelope guys so that is done next place i need to go to is walmart i need to go to walmart now oh yeah i forgot to mention my us visa was 160 canadian 160 us dollars yeah that's how much i paid for it and to post it i paid 16 dollars for the envelope the envelope was like two dollar fifty cents or something like that the main shipping was the main shipping was 14 dollars or so and i did express post so that's why it's more expensive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i hate when people take so long to move yeah move move can you move like what's doing this person i'm back in the car now it is so hot my sunscreen makes me sweat more but yeah i spent about 30 minutes there <laughs> and i didn't even buy a lot but yeah i'm just going to eat before i go Ooh. I just left the African store and I spent $82. I feel like this African store, their goat meat is so expensive. I'll show you guys this small pack of goat meat for $20. Nah, mm -mm. I'll never buy goat meat here again. I think I'll just go and buy goat meat in bulk from that place I like, the place I showed in one of my vlogs. There's one African store. That I showed you one of my vlogs. I'll be buying my goods meat from there because nah, twenty dollars for that chinkly thing. Nah, I'll show you guys. And that goods meat price is annoying me. It's actually doing me forty dollars for the two tiny things I bought. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. When I was younger, I didn't know to care about price of food though. I didn't know to care about how much food was. So. I just used to eat, eat, that was it. And now I really understand how adults feel when price of something goes up. Like when you be like, ah, tomato is expensive now. When I was younger, I just used to be like, ah, what was that? But now I'm just like... Guys, I'm finally back home. I'm actually exhausted, but yeah, this is all I got. Let me show you that pound there. This one. Where is it? Uh -huh. I got goat meat this small for twenty dollars. Can't you have like? Hey, this small for twenty dollars. One twenty dollars. So I got two of it. Then beef this small for ten dollars. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I want to be weightless. 
Teach me to fly, I won't be gone. So guys, I just got to the train station. My brother dropped us home. So now I'm going to use the train. I have my Presto card here. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. I'm going southbound to, I'm actually going to Queen's Park. My friend is coming from here. I'm coming from here. Guys, so it says almost 6 p.m. It's almost 6 p.m. I actually don't think I want to be, I don't think I want to sit at the back, so I'm just going to kick a walk down because I don't think I want to sit at the back of the train. This is York University train station. The next train is seeing five minutes, four minutes now, that's so long. Good days when 
you put me first, baby When you used to call me just to say that you miss me Don't know how we got here, but I blame you And I blame myself just for sticking with you That's for the wicked The food is here and it is 9.35 9.36 actually, yeah So this is dinner 9.36 p.m. I'm just going to show you guys now. Guys, so I just finished my food. We left the restaurants and I'm waiting for my Uber back. I'm doing Uber back home because I can't. I'm very full. I'm tired. You're the one I wait for, even though I hate 